Let's get to our off the record parting shots. Sandy, you're up first. Um, this is Memorial Day weekend, and this is the weekend where we remember people who lost their lives in conflict, and to all the families who lost loved ones and all the people who lost friends, happy Memorial Day. This is a prediction you can take to the bank. The state is in rather dire budget situation, and one solution, but I don't think it'll quite fill the nearly billion dollar hole, is to rent the Schottenstein Center when it's time for the conference committee, which will be like <laughs> World Wrestling Federation. Uh, sell the tickets, maybe they can raise some money to help solve part of the deficit problem. All right, Jim. Uh, kind of on that theme, uh, I've been talking, I've talked to a number of, lo or of lobbyists over the last uh, week or two, and the big concern is just, gosh, where, how, just how bad are we going to get axed in the Senate by in this budget? And one, I had one lobbyist tell me, you really can't do much lobbying right now on this. All we're trying to do is make sure that our cuts are fair compared to everybody else's. Hey, Laura. Um, uh, jumping off on that fireworks thing, I think if it, if it actually becomes law, uh, city councils will be rushing to write restrictions because they're going to be hearing from uh, constituents pretty quickly. Neighbors annoyed at annoyed football at fans lighting off firecrackers. In the middle of the night. <laughs> it wasn't the middle of the night. Um, my, I had the opportunity last week to visit the BBC and we learned that fake news is a global brand. The foreign editor mentioned that all of the press officers and press ministers in countries that are not too friendly to the media anyway, throw fake news in the BBC's face all the time when they're complaining about their reporters. So 